Hello everyone, so today is going to be a quick and simple video. This is going to be my first impressions on a new mascara that I'm going to try out right now. And I recently hauled this in one of my drugstore hauls. And this is the Milani Total Lash Cover Mascara. And the reason why this intrigued me is because it claims to have a three zone applicator brush. So if you can see that, and I will take it out of the packaging and kind of give you a better close up of the bristle, but it has three separate colors so each separate color does something different for your lashes and I will get more into that in a second so the claims of this mascara the first claim is that it has of course the three zone brush applicator that provides multi-performance zones the second claim is that it's non clumping and the third claim is that it is long lasting and it's a comfortable wear so I'm going to take it out of the packaging and uh, give you more of a close-up of the bristle. So here is the close-up of the mascara wand. So as you can see, there are three parts of this wand, three separate colors. So the first part is the neon green, which helps to define the lashes. It's for the inner and outer part of the lashes. Then we have the second part of the wand, which is the white or the clear, and that is what helps to build the lashes. It's for the center of your lashes. And then the last part, which is probably the most interesting part of this wand, is the neon pink part, which helps to curl your lashes. It's almost like a comb applicator. And it just forms sort of like a oval shape around the actual bristle and it's made out of rubber. So one thing that I notice about this wand that I'm a little bit skeptical about is the size of this wand. The size of the wand is a little bit smaller than my actual eye, even though I do have pretty big eyes, but it's a little bit smaller than my eye. So I find that the zones of the bristle really don't lay where they need to go. So that's the only thing that I'm a little weary about, but we will see when we actually apply the mascara. So right off the bat, I do notice that the consistency of this formula is a little bit more on the drier side, which I really like because I find that drier formulas actually do last longer. It is a little bit gloopy when you take it out of the tube, so you do have to end up scraping a little of the excess mascara formula on to the little tube so that's one of the things that I notice about this mascara so prior to this video I did curl my lashes which you probably can't even tell because I have really short stubborn lashes so the mascaras that I tend to go for are mascaras that give me more length than volume because I feel like if I at least have a mascara that gives me length I can always curl my lashes with a curling wand but if a mascara only gives me volume, then I have less to go with. So, um, of course, I love mascaras that give me both volume and length, but those are kind of hard to find these days. But uh, I do have two Holy Grail mascaras, which are both drugstore. One is the Georgiana Best Lash Extreme, and then the Prestige My Blackest Lashes. So hopefully this can be added to the list of favorites as well. Okay, so this is going to be the first coat. So right off the bat, I don't see much length. It adds a little bit of volume. I do notice that it doesn't clump, which is really nice, so it holds to that claim. I'm going to apply some to my lower lashes. So 
so there's no clumping on my lower lashes. So I find that the pink part of the bristle really helps to comb out any clumps. So I really like that aspect of this brush. So this is the first coat, so I'm going to apply a second coat. So this is the second coat, so I am going to curl my lashes. This is the last step. Now I know that this isn't for everyone, but I like to curl my lashes after my second coat. Especially since I have really short, stubborn lashes that don't like to curl whatsoever. So this is the second coat after using the lash curler. So I will be right back with my thoughts. Okay, so let's talk about this mascara. So let's talk about the pros first. So I definitely have two major pros with this mascara. The first one being the rubber applicator, which was the oval pink part in the center of the mascara wand. I really liked the rubber applicator because it definitely helped to separate my lashes. And I definitely would say that the non-clumping claim is definitely true because I tend to have problems with clumping on my upper outer edge of my lashes as well as my lower lashes and I definitely found that the rubber applicator definitely helped to comb out any of those clumps so I definitely was clump free so I really do like the rubber applicator I wouldn't say that it helps to curl the lashes but it definitely helps to separate your lashes Another thing that I really liked about this mascara was the formula. It has a more thicker consistency, which I really like because it definitely holds a curl for much longer and you don't get any traveling on your lower lash line or any flaking. So I really, really like that. Uh, I also find that it's very lightweight, so you really don't even feel like you're wearing mascara, which I find with other thicker consistency mascaras, you do feel that mascara on your lashes, but with this one, it's very lightweight. So I definitely say that the long-lasting and the comfortable wear claim is definitely true as well. Okay, so the cons of this mascara. So unfortunately, I have more things that I dislike about this mascara, but of course, I'm just being honest. So one thing that I don't like about this mascara has to do with the wand. And it has to do with the rubber applicator that extends away from the bristle at the very tip, if you can see that there. And that just really gets in the way, especially when you're trying to get to the outer edges of your lashes. So for that, I really don't like that part of the wand. Another thing that I don't like about this mascara is when you pull it out, you get too much mascara formula on the wand. So you definitely have to scrape out all of the excess of the formula or else you will have a huge mess. Another thing that I don't like about this mascara is that it doesn't really give me any length and it gives me very minimal volume. And I have really short lashes to begin with. So I would have to say that I would not repurchase this mascara. I will say that this is a mascara that probably is good for layering, but it's not something that you can just use on its own because it really doesn't do anything to your lashes. I will say if you're looking for a mascara for separating purposes, this is great. And I do find that my Prestige, my Blackest Lashes, which is one of my favorite mascaras, is a little bit on the clumping side. So I definitely can see this being great for uh, a mascara for a second coat 
for uh, mascaras that tend to be a little bit more on the clumping side. So that's how I'm going to use this mascara for now. I'm just going to use this as my first coat and then apply this for my second coat just to kind of separate my lashes. But overall, I wouldn't say that this is a miraculous mascara. I really love the concept of the three zone wand but uh this mascara really doesn't do much so those are my overall thoughts on this mascara if you would like to see any other first impressions on any other items uh definitely leave them down below and i will get back to you and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys